Hello kids, happy Easter. Ooh. Okay, so a couple of months ago, I was shopping at Baker Bookhouse in Grand Rapids with Nathan, and I was looking in the kids section to see if they had anything that looked good and I could read to you guys. <laughs> and I found something. So back when we could go to stores like forever ago, and I've been looking forward to sharing it with you because it it's pretty broad. It takes us through the Old Testament to the New and shares some highlights. It's not too detailed, but it helps give us a better understanding of why Christ died and um, how much our sin separated us from him. So I'm going to take a moment and share that with you. The garden, the curtain, and the cross. Oh, and it's written by Carl Lafferton, illustrated by Catalina Ashkaveri. A very long time ago, right here in this world, there was a garden. In the garden, everything was wonderful. The world was full of laughing and playing and smiling and fun. There was nothing bad ever. There was no one sad ever. And best of all, God was there. Hello, Adam and Eve. I don't know what God sounded like, probably not that, like that, but I can't really imitate him, so. <laughs> he had made it all. He was in charge of it all. He loved it all. People could see God and speak to God and just enjoy being with God. Eve, God's here. He wants to walk with us again. How cool is that? Yay, I bet it's going to be even more amazing than yesterday. It was wonderful to live with God, but then one day, the people did a terrible thing. They decided they didn't want to do what God said. They decided they wanted a world without God in charge. God calls this sin. Sin spoils things. So sin has no place in God's wonderful garden. He said to the people, you can't live with me in my garden anymore and he sent them outside to show the people they had to stay outside God put some warrior angels in front of the garden the angels were like a big keep out sign now things were sometimes bad and people were sometimes sad but people still kept sinning because they didn't want God to be in charge so no one could come into God's wonderful place. God said, because of your sin, you can't come in. God wanted people to remember. It is wonderful to live with him, but because of your sin, you can't come in. So he told the people to build a special building called his temple, where he would live. In the middle of the temple was the most wonderful place in the world. The place where God was, with nothing bad and nothing sad. It was very exciting. But then God told the people to put a big curtain around this wonderful place. The curtain had pictures of warrior angels on it. It was a big keep out sign. For hundreds of years, the temple curtain reminded people that God said, it is wonderful to live with him. But because of your sin, you can't come in. Babies became grown-ups and had babies. And those babies became grown-ups and had babies. And those babies became grown-ups and had babies. Hundreds of summers and winters passed by. And the keep out curtain stayed in the temple. Then one day, this is Christmas. God's son came to live in this world as a person. He was called Jesus. Jesus always did what God said. Jesus never sinned. And Jesus visited the temple where the keep out curtain hung. Jesus knew that things were sometimes bad and sometimes sad. Jesus said that God had sent him to open the way back to God's wonderful place <laughs> where there would be nothing bad and no one sat, but 
people still didn't want God to be in charge. So they decided to put Jesus on a cross to die. It was the most bad thing that had ever happened. It was the most sad day of all time. But Jesus had a plan. He had always planned to die on the cross. What a strange plan. Why would God's son plan to die? On the cross, Jesus took our sin. All the bad things we do and all the sad things they cause, Jesus took them all from us. And when he did, something amazing, astonishing, astounding happened. The curtain tore. God had ripped up the keep out sign. And I would like to add that it's only in Matthew and Mark that they list that it tore from top to bottom. And that signifies that God made a way um, for us to have a restored relationship with him. He's the one who came down to us, not us to him, from top to bottom. So that's one of my favorite details in the Bible. Anyway, back to the story. God's wonderful place is open again. Because Jesus died, we can go in. After Jesus died, his friends put him in a tomb. They were very sad. For two days, nothing happened. Then, the next morning, Jesus' friends went to see his body in the tomb. He's not here! And it wasn't there! A little later on, Jesus' friends were all together. And suddenly, Jesus was there, alive! Suddenly, his friends weren't sad. Now they were so, so happy. God had brought Jesus back to life so that he could live in God's wonderful place forever. And Jesus had sent everyone an invitation to come and live with him there too. He tells us, God says it is wonderful to live with him. Because of your sin, you can't come in. But... I died on the cross to take your sin, so all my friends can now come in. We can live with God forever. There will be nothing bad, no one sad. Come on in, friends. We will see God and speak to God and just enjoy being with God, just as he planned. It will be wonderful to live with him. And it's all because of Jesus. We will say every day, thank you, Jesus. You're amazing. And you can start saying that today. I love and missed you guys.